All right, let's dive into some watercolor techniques today. Sounds fun. We've got this YouTube video uh, from Moonflower Studio Creative. Okay. It's called Techniques in Watercolor. Mm. And yeah, I'm excited to go through this with you. Me too, me too. Um, so right off the bat, the instructor shows us the materials. Okay. You know, just some basic watercolor paints, yeah. round brushes, mm -hmm. masking fluid or tape, and even like Interesting. salt in a toothbrush. Wow, that's cool. So we're really yeah. starting simple here. Yeah, very accessible. Yeah. Um, and then they jump right into like the two kind of like main washes. <laughs> All right. So we've no. got the gradient wash, yeah. which is, you know, like a dark to light. It's like a fade. Yeah. Yeah. And then the flat wash. Okay. Which is just like a consistent color. Gotcha. Um, and I thought it was interesting how for the flat wash. Yeah. They really emphasize like pre-mixing your paint. Right. Making sure you have enough. Yeah, that makes sense because you don't want it to dry. Oh. Halfway through and then have like a... Yeah, you know, like a it, weird line. Yeah, you streak in it. Yeah, exactly. Um, But I was also really interested in like yeah. the different types of paper. Oh, right. So they were using hot press paper, which is really smooth. Yes, and you can see how that really affects the way the paint yeah. flows, right? It just kind of glides across the surface. Yeah. Um, but you can also use cold press paper. Okay. Which is like has more texture, oh, okay. like little bumps and grooves. Interesting. And that can create some really cool effects too. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, it's almost like... Like it adds another layer. Yeah, like another layer of... Of complexity. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So it just depends on the look you're going for. Uh-huh, cool. Yeah. Um, and then they went into this really interesting leaf technique. Oh, yeah. Like just this very simple... It looks so relaxing. Yeah. Almost. Like watching them do those leaves over and over. I know, right? Like they're just pressing and flattening mm -hmm. and then lifting the brush. Yeah, it's like building muscle memory. Well, yeah, exactly. Literally. And they showed like all their practice sheets too. Oh, wow. So they really emphasize yeah. practice. Yeah, and I thought that was really cool. Yeah. Because it shows like even they have to yeah. do it over and over again to get it right. Totally, totally. Um, and then I was really impressed with how they approached okay. like mistakes. Yeah, you know, because watercolor can be kind of tricky. Yeah, it can be a little unforgiving. Right, but they were like, yeah. mistakes are part of the process. Yeah. Like, you can lift the paint, you can layer, yeah. and you can just kind of, like... Embrace it. Embrace the happy accidents. Yes, exactly. Yeah, I love that. It's like a good life lesson, too, right? Right. Just roll with the punches. Exactly. Yeah. Um, So, speaking of happy accidents... Yeah. They used salt to create these really cool textures. Oh, I love that technique. You yeah, know, like it creates these really unexpected, yeah, kind of like starburst patterns. I know. I was surprised. I was like, salt. Yeah, it's like magic yeah. or something. And then they use masking fluid, which uh, I was also kind of. And masking fluid is so useful for <laughs> preserving areas. Yeah. That you don't want to get paint on. Right. Like they made this perfect moon shape with it, mm -hmm. and then they were able to mm. paint around it, like a stencil almost. Yeah, exactly. But with this liquid barrier. Yeah, and then when you peel it off, mm -hmm. it's like. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. So cool. So cool. Um, and I thought it was really interesting how they talked about <laughs> like pigment properties. Oh, right. Yeah. Because that can really affect yeah. how the paint behaves, right? Yeah. Like some pigments stain the paper. It can actually lift a little bit of the paint when you peel it off. Oh, interesting. I didn't know that. Yeah. So it's good to. So you got to be careful. Yeah. Be mindful of that. Yeah. Um, and then they started creating this landscape, uh -huh. which I was super excited about. Me too. Um, and they used this leaf making technique. Yeah, the one we talked about. Yeah, to make yeah. all these little leaves. Mm -hmm. And they just kept repeating it, like over and over again. And it was so mesmerizing to watch. Press, flatten, lift, mm -hmm. press, flatten, lift. Yeah, it's like a little dance with yeah, the brush. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and then, I don't know, I'm just, I'm really curious that to see how they're going to transform these leaves. Yeah, like how they're going to make yeah. a whole scene out of this. Yeah, turn it into this whole landscape. Exactly. So, yeah, I'm excited to keep watching. Me too. This is great. So, they take those leaves we were talking about before the break. Yeah. And uh, they make this landscape. Right. And they start with this gradient wash in the back. Yeah. It's like a soft background. And then get this. They yeah. sprinkle salt on it. Salt. Yeah, while it's still wet. Wow. And it makes these like starburst patterns. Wow, that's cool. Yeah, it's like I've never heard of that. I know, right? That's really neat. It's like bringing 
leach your nature into the painting or something. I like that. Yeah, and then uh, they start adding in branches okay. with a very freehand style. Yeah, I like how free and loose it feels. Yeah, it's very organic. Yeah, and they're thinking about perspective, too. Oh, right. Like making the branches in the front darker. Yeah, like they're closer. And warmer. Yeah, yeah. and then the ones in the back are lighter mm. and cooler. Exactly, so Yeah, coming. it gives it that sense of depth, yeah. even though it's a flat piece of paper. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Um, and they also talked about layering. Oh, yeah. Layering is key in watercolor. Right. You got to build it up gradually. Yeah. It's like you're... Like telling a story yeah. layer by layer. Exactly. Yeah. And they used the masking fluid again here. Ah, oh, right. Which I thought was interesting. Yeah. I didn't even realize you could do that. Yeah. After you've already put down some paint. Me neither. I thought it always had to be like... You're right. Like on the blank paper. Yeah. On the blank paper first. Yeah. But they put it on top of a layer of wash. Huh. So cool. Yeah. And then they peeled it off. I love that they're like experimenting with like the mm. timing of it. Yeah. So cool. And then for the final touch, they used a toothbrush. Oh, the gold splatter. Yes. Yes. That was amazing. I know. It added this like shimmery. Yeah. Like a magical. Like, yeah. A little bit of magic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love it. And it's so simple. I know. Just a toothbrush. Yeah. It's like anyone can do it. Exactly. Yeah. Um, I just, I really like how the instructor is so like encouraging they are really positive yeah and like down to earth like yeah they make you feel like you can mm -hmm. actually do this right like you don't have to be a right. professional artist exactly yeah. yeah it's really inspiring so i'm wondering like mm. how can we apply these watercolor principles oh that's a good question to other parts of our lives like outside of just uh, yeah like beyond painting not... yeah hmm i don't know what do you think what really stood out to you from this whole video Honestly, the thing that really struck me was like the instructor's attitude. Right. You know, they were obviously very skilled. Yeah. But they were also like playful, mm -hmm. you know, not afraid to experiment. Totally. And I feel like that's such a good yeah. approach to art in general. I agree. It's like finding that balance between mm -hmm. like knowing the rules. Right. But also being willing to break them. Exactly. Yeah. And I also like how they emphasize that. Yeah. Like we can use these techniques uh -huh. to develop our own style. Right. Like it's not about copying them exactly. Right. It's about taking those yeah. fundamental ideas mm -hmm. and then like. Making them your own. Yeah. Putting your own spin on it. Exactly. I thought that was really cool. Yeah. It's like once you know the oh. basics the possibilities are endless. Like it's like learning a new language. Yeah, exactly. You know, once you've got the vocabulary. Yeah, you got the vocabulary, <laughs> you got the grammar. Yeah. And then you can You can write your own story. Yeah, express yourself. Yeah. Um and I think going back to what we were talking about before, mm. like applying these principles to yeah. other areas of our lives. Right. Like that idea of layering. Yeah. We were talking about that with the paint. Uh-huh. But you can also think about it in terms of like Personal growth. Yes, exactly. You know, you start with a base mm -hmm. and then you just keep adding. Yeah, like building upon. Layers. Yeah, building upon mm -hmm. what you've already learned. Yeah, and you're not afraid to like yeah. experiment and try new things. Exactly, and make mistakes along the way. Totally. The mistakes are part of the process. Yeah. That's how you learn. And, you know, thinking back on this whole deep mm -hmm. dive, I think one of the biggest things I'm taking away from it yeah. is the importance of observation. Oh, absolutely. You know, like the instructor was saying, yeah. just pay attention to the world around you. Mm -hmm. Look at the colors. Look at the textures. Yeah, like really see things. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that's such a valuable it is, skill, not just for art, right. but for life in general. For everything. Yeah. It helps you appreciate the little things. Absolutely. Yeah. So to sum it all up, yeah, I think this video really taught us mm -hmm. that it's not just about the techniques. Right. It's about the mindset. Yeah, like being curious. Yeah, being open to experimentation. Experimenting. And just appreciating the world around us. Yeah, beautifully said. So if you want to see these techniques in action. Definitely check out the full video. Yeah, head over to the Moonflower Studio Creative YouTube channel. Yep, and give it a try yourself. Yeah, you might surprise yourself. You never know. Yeah. You might have a hidden talent. Exactly. All right, that's it for our watercolor deep dive. That was fun. Until next time. Happy painting, everyone. Bye.